Music shrinks the wall. It brings everybody here. I think we have over 90 countries represented here and I've met many people from China to Nepal, Deutschland, Brazil, South America to Senegal. It's just amazing. The connection, the network and the music. I've come to Walmex a lot of times and the reason I come is to discover new talent, to reconnect with old colleagues and friends, to get inspiration for what's next in the global music community, and really to come away with fresh ideas, fresh opportunities for collaboration, and it is a place that I really cherish coming to. Make new friends and build up your network. Everything starts from here. I believe that Womex is the biggest gathering for all the people who uh, are working in the same uh, industry all over the world. Right. Sorry, so yeah, that was the video. I will quickly um everything okay? Everything great. Thank you. Oh. I hope everyone could see the video. Oh yes, yes. It was great. Um, yeah, I will put this here. Right, so everyone can see the, um, you can, you can see the presentation. Yes, no problem. Perfect. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, my name is Gaurav. I mean, as you can see on the screen, I work with Womex uh, for the last five years. I uh, look out for all their press, marketing, media, communications. Um, so basically everything, if you read from newsletters to press releases to the website to, uh, there are a lot of aspects for every event uh, in terms of communications and yeah that's what i do i have a team of uh four people and we are based out of berlin we are a european event i mean actually we are a global event um but uh, the head office is based in berlin and and uh yeah so womex has been happening this year would be the 28th year for womex and uh so womex started in 1994 and it has traveled across uh, many cities and many countries and regions across Europe. So it's primarily a European, uh, you can say a music event, but represents the world. Um, and so far, yeah, so, so we've had 27 editions, uh, more than 1,100 showcase artists have uh, played at Womex. Um, Womex is predominantly a showcase music festival. Uh, a showcase music festival means where artists come to get discovered and, and get discovered by all kinds of music professionals. It can be uh, bookers, agents, um, music publishers, uh, venues. Uh, so everyone basically comes to Womex to see what's happening next in the global music scene what kind of artists are coming from where um and over the last few i mean so so it started as a music event also then i think in six years after of happening there were a lot more new aspects which womex started doing which was of course one was music conference um music conference is a very very integral part of uh womex and um 
We have roundtable mentorings. We have a lot of uh, conference panel sessions where people we talk about various topics in the global music scene. Um, then there's also films. Uh, films being um, there are a lot of music documentaries and uh, music films that are being produced across the world uh, with the theme of music. And so there is a um, yeah, so we have every year a cinema dedicated to uh, showcasing even films. Um, so we are, of course, I mean, being a world music festival or a global music festival, uh, we are actually one of the most diverse and international music meet meetings worldwide. Um, in last year, which was 2021, we had 2,600 professionals. Uh, including 290 performing artists from 48 countries. And this was just the artists who were from 48 countries. And all in all, I mean, including the delegates, we had around 90 plus countries being represented in one place. And that's quite an achievement, I feel, because um, for a global music event, you know, to be able to have I mean, of course, the idea is to have, represent the world and having people from 90 plus countries in one city, it, it feels quite an achievement. And it's, it's actually absolutely beautiful because we have people from different cultures, different uh, societies, uh, different levels of professional experience, you know, uh, people who are new into music business to people who are doing music business for the last um, 20 years. Um, yeah, so we have one of the biggest trade fairs uh, with 620 exhibiting uh, companies from 50 countries at 200 stands. And this actually um, is how really Womex started back in the day. The idea was to have a place for people to come and meet each other. And uh, the trade fair or the expo is where uh, you know, we really strongly believe like is a, is a chance for people to interact and exchange knowledge and ideas. You can stop by at any of these stands of any of those 200 stands and, and get to understand what they do, what country they come from. They all come from, you know, various um, backgrounds. And I think this is actually one of the best parts of Womex that there's a lot of openness for people to interact. And it, it actually is a huge, 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 a very beautiful plus side of, uh, of our event. Um, then, of course, we have showcase artists. I mean, just this is just last year's numbers. We had uh, more than 60 showcase artists, uh, to, which means artists, when we say 200 showcase acts, sorry, showcase acts could be single, could be duos, could be groups. Um, so in all together, we had around 290 artists from 48 countries uh, spread over seven stages. Um, and these seven stages basically represent different sounds, uh, different kind of artists, uh, acts. So they could be, as I said, like they could be a one person band or it could be a 10 piece band. Um, then we also have a regional stage. Regional stage is um, a stage where we represent music from the city we are visiting. So this year, for example, we are in Portugal and we have a lot of bands coming from Portuguese speaking area. So, and it's called Lusophonica stage. And in the Lusophonic, on the Lusophonica stage, yeah, when you have a lot of variety and culture being represented in itself. Um, Another, I mean, they would, I, I will talk about the jury and the selection process uh, just in within a couple of slides. Um, so this is, here's the conference. Um, we have around 111 speakers. This, these are again, last year's numbers, um, you know, covering various topics of jazz, world music, uh, NFT, uh, synchronization, um, gender equality, um, so various conversations, various topics. And we have, uh, in the photos you can see, there are conference sessions and then there are also these round meetings. Roundtable meetings are a little more 
intimate conversations where people talk to each other. Um, yeah, we basically do, you know, like little more focused groups uh, than big panels. They are all available uh, at Pomex every year. Um, here are the films. So we uh, last year had 24 films. Um, so there are two kinds of film uh, formats we have. One is, of course, we have a cinema format where uh, delegates are welcome to walk into any of those uh, venues and, and watch one of those uh, Vomex films. Uh, and then, which is called screenings. And then we also have something called film library. So it's a physical space uh, during Vomex we build, like a room, for example, with say four or five different computers and you can walk into any of those computers and there are programmed with um, films all or like a like a library of films and then when you take a break you can actually watch a documentary ranging from 15 minutes to one hour and um, so that's the film program um every year womex starts with an womex opening night uh the womex opening night again represents the the country we are in and we invite uh usually the, we have a partner from the local country where they come on board and they help curate so what makes opening night is more like a welcome note to all the delegates who will be coming and for the next five days we'll be networking staying together exchanging ideas so um, it really helps in bringing people together on the first evening before you st uh, start the event um, then an important aspect of Vomex we have is Vomex Awards, which were introduced in 1999. Um, Vomex Awards help uh, or, or the, I mean, the idea was always to um, honor people with you know, exceptional achievements. Uh, this, these could be musicians, these could be professionals, uh, yeah, so we have an artist award every year and we have a professional uh, e excellence award. Uh, artist award as simple, you know, uh, we uh, have an artist every year who receives an award uh, for their work, for their music. And in a similar category, we have a music professional every year who receives an award um, for, for their contribution. So it could be journalists, it could be organizations, who are working uh, in music. Um, yeah, so, so every year we have two recipients uh, for the awards category. Um, on site at Womex, I, I, I would take a quick pause to confirm you guys are hearing me fine. Yes, no problems. Great. Okay. Just wanted to make sure that everything is okay. Um, yeah, so the other really important and very interesting aspect of Womex is. Uh, Vomex Radio. Um, Vomex Radio is a makeshift radio we create every year on site. Uh, it's basically a small room with a whole functioning radio. Uh, from, the, from the radio studio, so we have a lot of journalists coming, attending Vomex every year. And we almost, I think, uh, I don't remember the numbers off my head, but I think we have more than 100, 120, 150 journalists who come every year to Womex. And, um, and these journalists include radio journalists, uh, podcast makers, uh, creators, um, journalists who work in music, who write about music through various organizations or work uh, with uh, TV. Um, and, and the studio basically is, a way for journalists to be able to meet the artists behind the stage um, or record special sessions. So you would see in the photographs, we have a very minimal setup uh, in the radio studio. That means any, and it's a free service available for all the delegates and journalists. So they can come to the radio studio, they can book it in advance. They can live stream their show from the studio uh, a live session, or they can also record and uh, program it for later. And basically, it's just a place for um, for artists and journalists to come together. 
the radio studio is also open for open to delegates to come and watch performances uh, which they would actually miss out on and these are all unique exclusive minimal setup performances at the radio studio um here is vomex uh jury um this i mean every year uh, again this is again since the, during the same year when the awards were introduced uh, a jury was introduced um vomex jury are a group of say seven people who change every year and it's an international and very diverse group of people who come together the jury is put by us uh, as in the vomex team we bring in an external jury who helps us curate the program every year uh, what this really means is that we don't do the programming in-house to keep the system fair and transparent. We have a jury every year who goes through all the proposals we receive every year. And um, and yeah, so Vomex does an open call for proposals uh, around January to between January and March every year. And we receive a lot of uh, applications for conferences, for films, for showcase. And uh, just to give an idea, like every year, uh, Vomex roughly receives around 1,500 entries uh, or showcase artists who apply to play at uh, Vomex. And, and the idea is to keep it fair and transparent. And then that's why we have this jury who sits together every year for three or four intensive days and goes through each and every application that comes to us. And then they together curate the official program. And this official program you know, is consisting of showcases. They pick up the artists who will play at Womex. Uh, they pick up the films and they pick up the conference uh, panel. And it's a really interesting uh, uh, selection of people who come from all over the world. So they bring in their level of expertise and knowledge and diversity uh, to the jury selection uh, program. Um, here, here are simple but key figures of what kind of people attend Womex. Um, I mean, of course, this varies year to year. And uh, but you know it, it goes on and it balances in itself. Uh, every year we have uh, lots of artist managers, agents who come. I mean they are the biggest chunk who attend Womex. Um, then after agents, artists, and managers, we have live events and promoters. Live events and promoters are people coming from venues who are there to book artists and. Um, who are there to book artists for all kinds of venues, for small venues in small cities to big venues in bigger cities, for festivals, uh, club promoters. Then the third largest uh, is actually institutions, which is at the second uh, last. Uh, institutions are um, all music organizations who help in... Uh, so, for example, music export companies, um, you know, like every country has a, a music export uh, body who helps uh, cultural uh, export of, of music. And so those are the institutions when we say uh, institutions, uh, music export companies or, or companies, uh, you know, it could be other expos, all of them are <laughs> under institutions. Then recording and distribution uh, is 23%. Uh, of course, this means all the music labels, music publishers who attend. Um, and when we say publishing, uh, in this case, we mean uh, media publishing. So, um, and sorry, uh, sorry, this also includes um, uh, publishing in terms of music publishing, uh, all the music publishers who attend. And then services um, could be uh, someone like for example, could be uh, music services that could include Spotify to TuneCore to anything in music business uh, who, who offer their service. 
Um, yeah, so sorry, here is a number of where we had around 250 national and international journalists attending Womex in Porto. And that's quite a big number of uh, journalists, if you ask, at one place, because, and they actually help these artists um, reach out uh, to the world. Um, here is a little breakdown of uh, what who really is Womex's audience and where do they come from? Um, as I mentioned before, we have around 90 uh, people coming from 90 plus countries. And uh, here's a little breakdown of, of course, our biggest market is Europe. And uh, so huge chunk comes from Europe and then comes the Americas, which is at 14 percent. Then we have uh, Europe, which is non-EU at 6%, Asia-Pacific at 5%, Middle East and North Africa at 3%, and Africa at 2%. Of course, this varies again year by year because you are in a different country and you know, there are various uh, factors which, which, uh, uh, which change these facts every year. But more or less, I mean, Europe and America is our biggest market. So that means uh, people who are attending will make major chunk come from these two countries and then the other countries from around the world. Um, so this was in uh, this was last year in Porto. We had a Porto Rifo Express, which basically means uh, we had music from the Portuguese region for the opening concert. Um, this was the ninth edition for the Club Summit. Uh, which is an annual uh, club summit also is basically uh, club summit is basically uh, you know what makes used to be predominantly live music or or artists and bands and uh, around, I think eight years ago we started uh, a club uh, what makes showcase uh, what that really means is uh, we have we represent also DJs producers um, or yeah, musicians who are doing uh, electronic uh, in style of club. Uh, so they could be having, uh, you know, Moroccan music in a club setting and or in a club or, or DJs as well. So that, that, that was, that's what Womex Club Summit is about representing electronic side of world music. Um, we had a radio. We have a, a Womex radio studio. I spoke about RTP is uh, the local uh, Portuguese media, and we have EBU on board. EBU is the European Broadcasting Union. Uh, they are the ones who help us run the radio studio. EBU is basically a body of all uh, European broadcasters, uh, radios, and uh, it's basically and they come every year. So that means when EBU comes, they bring in a huge body of journalists and uh, radios coming from across Europe who get a lot of content from Vomex in, 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 in terms of artist uh, live recordings, which they can play on their radio. Um, in 2021, uh, the award recipients were Ainur uh, for, for Artist Award, who's from Turkey and the Netherlands, and uh, Global Music Match who were the uh, recipients for Professional Excellence Award. Um, so this is a Womex participation. Um, you can register as a delegate. You propose a showcase, a conference, or a film screening. Uh, you can have network meetings. You can host presentations. There is a trade fair stand or an expo where you can participate as an individual, uh, as a company, or you can come up, come uh, participate as an umbrella stand. And that means basically you come with, um, uh, with a body of uh, representatives. So for example, if you're coming from Japan or China, you bring in, or, or Singapore or Africa, you bring in um, a network of people. Uh, you know, they could be artists, they could be, uh, promoters, agents, bookers, and you represent as an umbrella stand. Uh, so you come together, not as an individual in this case. Um, we also have something called virtual Vomex, uh, which means 
you is basically think of it as a networking tool or a networking service which we provide to all the delegates every year you uh, it has a database of more than 20000 contacts which of course have been collected over these years people who have attended womex and you can connect you can network with each other via this platform or virtual womex uh, you can yeah you can reach out to anywhere anyone in the world who has been to womex and works in the music business um and then we of course have promotional opportunities at Romex. Uh, you know, there are advertising available on site and uh, throughout the year on Romex, uh, um, uh, yeah, Romex bags, Romex lanyards. I mean, so the various uh, Romex app. So there are various ways one could uh, advertise themselves. These are just uh, showcase artists in at Romex Tampere. These are just the names. Uh, on, in 2020, we had a digital edition like everyone. We didn't have a physical uh, meeting. Um, these were the artists playing. Uh, I'll just wait for a little big second so you can read a few names and see the country uh, the, uh, artists were repre uh, representing in 2021. Um, I mean, we had artists from uh, Aragaki Mutsumi from Japan. We had Ayanur, we from Turkey, we had artists from Morocco, France, Chile, Mexico, Colombia, Poland, Ivory Coast, Portugal, Spain. So it's, yeah, I mean, Azerbaijan and uh, yeah, basically the artists from across around the world. Um, yeah, so this year we will be in uh, Lisbon from 19 to 23rd of October and uh, really looking forward to going to Lisbon. This will be our first time in Lisbon and second time in Portugal. Uh, we were in Porto last year. And uh, for next year, we still have not announced which, what country we would be in. And hopefully that would be in the next few months.